Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Wadge. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the best mechanical gaming keyboards in the market with RGB lighting integration. Now, there's a lot of keyboards in this category now, but we're going to be talking about the four best, in my opinion. And we're going to go through the uh, list of what each keyboard kind of presents, both in terms of advantages and weaknesses, to determine which one is perfect for your needs. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now the first keyboard on our list is the Razer Black Widow Chroma. Now the Black Widow series of keyboards from Razer has been around for a number of years, but it's not until recently where they've added RGB LED lighting to this very, very popular uh, keyboard design, particularly with uh, professional level gamers. And one of the interesting things about the Black Widow is that they're actually using a custom uh, Razer switch. They're not using Cherry Amex. They've actually custom designed two specific mechanical switches. One is a more clicky traditional mechanical switch, excellent for gaming. The other one is a more dampened, uh, stealthy switch designed for a uh, quieter operation. Regardless of the switch you choose, you're going to get impeccable durability, good to up to 80 million keystrokes, which is pretty darn insane. You also have gold-plated contact points, and even the keycaps themselves are designed to prevent dust and other debris from getting inside these sensitive components. In terms of the RGB lighting system, yeah, it's pretty outstanding, very luminous and bright overall lighting effect. Effects. You have plenty of different unique effects to choose from. Of course, you can uh, customize the color configuration to your heart's content. You have over 16.8 million color combinations to choose from. Another cool thing about the Black Widow Chroma is that you have uh, integrated audio outputs for your microphone and headphone jack. So you can plug in your headset, which is excellent for cable management. You also have a USB pass through. So it's a fully featured keyboard, even though it's fairly compact in terms of its design. Now, the next keyboard on our list pertains to the Corsair Strafe. RGB. Now, just like the Razer Black Widow, it's been around for quite some time, but it's not until recently where you now have fully RGB LED lighting integration. Now, the reason why I'm a huge fan of this keyboard is that it mainly blends together a compact and efficient design, but yet with the large wrist pad, it's excellent for prolonged use. So if you're going to game on this thing for a number of hours, you're never going to get fatigue. And same thing goes for a prolonged session uh, behind a word processor. In pretty much every application, you're going to be very comfortable and very happy with the design of the strafe. Now being from a Corsair, you have a choice of two mechanical switches from Cherry MX, either in the reds or browns. Uh, we have the browns as you can see over here, which is my personal favorite Cherry MX switch. Now, the integrated RGB system is absolutely fantastic. I think Corsair has really done their homework in making sure that the LEDs are as bright as possible. And even the backing of the keyboard itself is outlined in a very luminous white finish that is going to reflect a lot of light. So again, it's going to maximize the luminosity as much as possible. And of course, the uh, RGB LED lighting system from a software perspective is pretty much endless in terms of the customization opportunity you have. Additionally, there's also a USB pass-through through the side of the keyboard, so if you want to plug in a USB accessory, you definitely can, which is excellent for uh, cable management and keeping things as tidy as possible. And of course, like all the keyboards in its category, it's 100% anti-ghosting with 104 key rollovers, so you're never going to have any issue with any input error. Lastly, one other thing I like about the Strafe is the fact that you can actually swap out some of the essential keycaps for gaming with uh, more contoured uh, textured keycaps that will give you a little bit better grip and a little bit better feel than the plastic keycaps that they come stock with. Moving right along, now if you're a person looking for a mechanical keyboard and the number one priority is comfort and overall ease of use, I would definitely uh, check out the Logitech G910 Orion Spark. This keyboard is pretty much the most comfortable mechanical keyboard for me personally. Even the keycaps are individually contoured toured towards the user making typing as easy as possible. Additionally, the G910 actually comes with two wrist pads, a larger one and a smaller one, and you can choose whichever one suits your preference. I personally like the larger one, it gives you a little bit more support for your palms and wrist. Now, just like the Razer keyboard we talked about earlier, Logitech has actually designed their own mechanical switches around uh, their specific mechanical keyboards, uh, and they're using something called a Romer G switch. Now, this is bespoke engineering to Logitech, and it's very different in terms of design compared to most of the conventional mechanical 
switches you find from Cherry MX. Firstly, it's a switch designed specifically for gaming applications and RGB LED lighting systems. And you can see that the RGB is actually integrated directly in the center of the switch. There's also a lens in front of that LED that will magnify and intensify the light output, making this one of the brightest RGB mechanical keyboards in the market. Now, in terms of the, the tactile feel of the Romer G, I think it feels like a Cherry MX Brown. It's certainly not as clicky as a traditional mechanical switch from Cherry MX, and it's a little bit more dampened, I find, so the acoustic performance is fairly quiet, which is excellent for some people that want to get a quiet gaming keyboard. And in terms of key rollover, it's rated for up to 113 keys, which is class leading, even though a key rollover is not that big of a deal for pretty much 99% of people out there, but it's pretty cool to have that rating. I just think at the top center, you can see that there is a smartphone holder, and this is designed for pretty much most smartphones out there. It's not an active charger. It's just a holder. You can, of course, use this in conjunction with the Logitech Arcs control app, which is going to give you some uh, basic uh, information about your uh, CPU and GPU status. You can throw up different widgets on your smartphone, as well as uh, change some of the parameters of your Logitech peripherals. As a bonus, you also have nine programmable uh, buttons, which is excellent for MMOs. And not to mention, you have uh, great controls for all your media functionality. And I'm a big fan of the large volume dial. Now, the last keyboard that we're going to talk about is the brand new Cooler Master Master Key Pro L model or even the uh, 10 keyless design Pro S model. In both situations, you're looking at a very clean, minimalistic design. Now, essentially, these keyboards are a replacement for the uh, Quick Fire XTI keyboards, which were pretty synonymous uh, with a lot of uh, pro esports players. And you can see why they love uh, the overall design. There's really no BS, there's nothing to kind of Take you away from the gaming experience and with the 10 keyless design it takes that level of efficiency to a next level if you don't need the number pad and perhaps you want a keyboard that you can easily travel with uh, definitely an excellent option has all the great features of uh, pretty much every mechanical gaming keyboard out there cooler master has also improved the light output and the vibrancy of the leds from the previous generation mechanical keyboards in this category and one of the truly unique features about uh, this keyboard is the fact that you don't actually need any software to change the RGB configuration. Uh, essentially, you can control almost every single parameter and function of the keyboards through the function keys themselves, which again is, uh, I think, a really cool and unique feature and just gives you an idea of the potential power and capabilities that's built into the Master Pro lineup. Now, being such a minimalistic design, perhaps from an ergonomic and comfort standpoint, this is not the most comfortable keyboard out there, but you can definitely get third-party wrist pads to solve some of those ergonomical issues. Uh, to some people, they're going to have to adjust. And a lot of people are using uh, specific keyboards from Ducky and other manufacturers that employ this uh, simple design and have had no problems in adjusting to those. Uh, again, uh, the performance is going to kind of speak for itself, especially if you're into competitive gaming. But really, on that, guys, that's really it. Thank you so much for watching. A big thank you to uh, Corsair, Logitech, and Cooler Master for helping us make this video possible. Without them uh, providing us uh, some of the equipment, uh, this video certainly wouldn't be available to you guys. And if you have any specific questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and check out the link in the description for detailed information about everything. But really, that's really it for this video. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.